So there's a lot of investment going on in the U.S. right now in clean energy after the Inflation Reduction Act was passed. And I mean, just like a frenzy of activity in a lot of building. And we see new plants um, getting built to, to, you know, make batteries and, and battery storage and all these other, you know, hydrogen, all these other clean energy things. Um, yet we're still really struggling to meet our climate goals. Um, you know, as I understand, we're, we're falling short of uh, the goal of cutting emissions in half by 2030. And uh, I mean, with all this activity and all this investment, wh what's going on? Where's the disconnect? Why are we falling so far short? It's a great question. It's the issue that keeps me up most at night when I think about uh, this set of issues, because we've now put in place, I think, a very effective long-term set of technology-neutral incentives to invest in the U.S. We're seeing a very significant private sector response. You talk to companies in the U.S. and globally, and they say, look, the U.S. is an attractive place to invest because these are stable, predictable incentives, and the U.S. market uh, provides a lot of innovative capacity, a lot of um, labor opportunities. This is an interesting place to invest. And the issue now is we need to remove the constraints to build. We need to have a approach to clean deployment that has the feel of build, baby, build. We have to be very aggressive and creative about removing the constraints on the supply side. Um, and some of those go to uh, getting better at building quicker. Um, with, while also representing our values and fairness. But some of that also goes to looking at the structure of how we are our, our utility, our utility based energy uh, production system in the United States works and operates. Um, and that is, uh, as, as the intro video said, that is often relatively unsexy work. It, it feels uh, can get very wonky very quickly, uh, but we're going to have to learn to take these things very seriously and learn to um, love these issues because they're going to be what actually breaks open more uh, deployment. Something like how do we get more out of our existing transmission uh, system? Uh, the Post has written a bunch about this, dynamic line rating and other grid enhancing technologies. Again, you can get into the weeds pretty quickly, but the bottom line is we need to get more out of our existing transmission system, and we can. We actually have technolo technologies uh, that would unlock um, enormous additional potential, but we have to create the market incentives, the market structure, so that utilities have an incentive to invest in those, uh, and that we're actually prioritizing those types of solutions that would get more clean energy at scale uh, going here in the U.S.